what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's thursday night i believe i'm going to go out of town i'm gonna go visit one of my very close friends so i'm gonna go back to my hometown so it's not that far from where i live i believe it's like three and a half hours which is to me is a piece of cake. I drive from LA to Sac and that's like six hours. So three and a half hours is like nothing to me. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. It's currently the nighttime. I usually like driving at night, but all right guys, I'll see you guys when I touch down. I just got to Fresno. I came to In-N-Out cause I'm freaking starving. Can't wait to eat you guys. It's like 12.49 in the morning right now i feel like i'm a night owl i usually go to sleep like at two in the morning so i feel like i was okay driving plus i don't know i feel like there was not that much traffic there wasn't like no accidents it's super chill at night so i'm glad i made it i'm gonna take my food to go though because i just want to get to my girl's house already so today's the next day we are about to go eat with the kids my friends right here doing her hair really quick hi so we're here in her little studio room. My friend, she does extensions here in Fresno. Um, and this is all like real hair. It's like, it's virgin hair, right? It's virgin. Yeah, so if you ladies ever wanna get your extensions done in Fresno or you're up in Northern Cali, I'll put her Insta her business Instagram in the description box if you guys want to hit her up and if you guys have any questions regarding the extension she does i slept great last night i honestly i got here really fast so i'm glad it was a smooth drive the ways app you guys if you guys haven't heard about it you guys should check it out because it tells you like where all the cops are at not that i'm doing anything bad but better to be safe than sorry all right guys so i guess this is the building where the restaurant's at but i was giving my friend a little history lesson but my dad's the one that told me this so this building right here, it's like a historic building here in Fresno. Back in the day, it used to be like a cold storage. So the way my dad explained it to me, like back in the day, they didn't have like freezers. And like this whole building is made of brick. So people would come like store, like, I don't know, like stuff that needs to stay cool in here. So yeah, that's just a little cool history fact. My friend was telling me that they started putting restaurants in here. That's so cool because back in the day, there wasn't no restaurants built right there. It was just sitting there. They weren't doing anything with the building. So it's nice to see them like preserving like a historic building. I'm into like history a little bit, guys. So I'm just, a, I'm a little bit of a history nerd. My friend's daughter and this is Chavita. And this is what the restaurant looks like. <laughs> I have never been here, you guys. Um, so, so far, I'm having the coffee. The coffee's fucking bomb. It's like cafe de olla. And dude, I am so tired. I had a long night last night, so I need a little pick-me-up. If you guys have not tried cafe de olla, it's so bomb. Dude, that looks bomb. You guys, so it's French toast made with birote. How dope is that? I have never tried it. I'm trying the bolillo French toast. Dude, this is bomb, you guys. I'm about to make this at home. I didn't know you could make French toast with bolillo. That is such a good idea. Yes, I can. Delicious. My little coffee right here. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so here is my chilaquiles. Oh, me. Oh, okay. oh, is it dangerous? Yes. Okay, that sounds serious. Thank you. <laughs> and then this is my friend's food. Dude, her shit looks bomb. She took like 20 minutes to order her food, so I know that shit's good. All right, guys, so he told me this is a spicy chile, so since I've never had it, I'm just gonna drizzle it because. The way my gastritis is set up right now. All right, guys, let's try this. Delicious, guys. The salsa it is spicy, but I can handle it. Look at this girl. She's just 
She's over here slapping reggaeton on her earphone. She got her little iPad going and her little sunglasses. And she has her little backpack. Okay, she's in style, girl. We came to the mall. I don't know, my friend needs to return some shoes. So the mall's like, I haven't been to the mall here in forever. Oh my God, you guys, this used to be the place that was popping when I was in high school. Cause back in the day, going to the mall was the shit. It's not like, you know, the LA malls, but this is like one of the, this is like the main mall in Fresno, Fashion Fair. You guys, update. We've only been in the mall for like 20 minutes and something already got stolen. So my friend's little girl bought her little backpack, the one that I was showing you guys in the, like when we first got here. And I guess she set it down and somebody freaking stole it. That's Fresno for you guys. Welcome to, welcome to my head. We got ready and we came to Yard House. We're in River Park. You guys, this is the Yard House I always get caught up at. So I have a lot of bad memories here, but I also have a lot of good memories. I'm here having a beer. I was a little hung over this morning. I had like a headache, but it wasn't too bad. And my friend dragged me out of bed. Cause if it was for me, you guys, like when I'm hung over, I like to just stay in bed, watch movies, eat some munchies. We came to this spot she found, um, this little marisco spot. It's kind of like really, really hidden. I've never been here before. Um, and this is my first time, so. Well, we'll see how it is. So let me show you guys. So you wouldn't even think it's here, right? Cause I was like, but then you come in here and this is where it's at. All right guys, so this is what my friend got. And I got a cocktail right here. I got my aguacate. It's kind of like a little hole in the wall, but the food's really good. All right guys, so I'm gonna try my cocktail. I also put some of this chile in there. This is my bite right here. Wow. Wow. So we just got back from the club and my friend's being responsible because she's a mom and shit. And <laughs> she's making time. macaroni salad because I told her we're going to make macaroni salad. So, because she's a responsible mom. I got the munchies. My friend got carne asada fries and I got the nachos. And you already know me, I got to eat the hot Cheetos. Taste test, bomb. Mm -hmm. I added hala tapatio to this. I'm about to take a fetish uh, bite. The camera's still on. You try it, try it. Okay. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Someone is that? Fire. Fire. <laughs> Easter, we're at my friend's family's house celebrating. Dude, I look so, I'm so hungover, guys. Like, I didn't even get ready. I bought a little cute outfit to wear and I'm wearing tights because 
it was not a good morning for me but man i just ate right now i feel so much better the kids are doing their little egg plant right now so i'm trying to bounce back because i want to go cruising later so hopefully i get out of this little hangover so i could go home and get cute and we can go you guys that's my friend's hot grandma look at how pretty she is okay We're done celebrating with the family. So I came and I met up with some of my childhood friends from high school. So I'm here with uh, one of my best friends from high school and her family. With me. So this is her dad. He's an OG. Yeah. And you guys, El me regañaba sometimes because me and her would be kind of bad sometimes. Yeah. No, all the time. Not sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> and this is oh, this is my friend Antonia. This is uh, my friend's little sister. They actually used to be neighbors. So the twins' mom, my sister, she used to live next door to them. So that's how we ended up getting so and close. Never used so. to be able to spend the night. I wonder why. Oh, yeah. Never used to spend the night at the twins' house. Why? Yeah, you're fucking just at the window. <laughs> We haven't hung out in forever, so tonight is like a kind of a big night in Fresno. For Easter here in Fresno, it's the first day of cruising. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's not better than LA because I've been cruising in LA, but for it being Fresno, it's a big deal out here. And I haven't gone cruising in forever, so I'm so excited to show you guys what it's like. So right now we're having a little pre-game. Oh my god, I'm drinking a third day in a row, you guys. I don't know who I am right now, but okay. All right, guys, so I'm taking. A shot, we're all taking it together. Okay, what are we turning into? Um, oh, El Dia del Pichi Coneco. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. one. Pichi Coneco. La verga. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, my friend has a stand right here. Uh, 
I'm wearing downtown. I didn't know they have fucking vendors out, bitch. Yeah, now when they did do. this happen? See, well, they're trying to do it. It's just starting this year, like, to pick up. So hopefully we'll be able to keep it going. Oh, let's see what you got going on Every over here. Sunday, now through, um, through Halloween, we're going to have it. Uh, so, hi! Hi, Dad, Gloria! You guys follow her on Instagram. Oh my, oh my god, I'm a mess. You guys um, hire her for your next party. So we do at Doki Loco Bar. Okay. We also offer our paleta car and we're gonna be getting some other stuff, but I can't tell what I'm getting yet. Okay, girl, I see you. Because we're saving it for um, our wedding. So and you yeah. set these up for um, parties too, for right? Parties. Yeah. Okay. I'll see whatever. I love it. Cheese, so we got a quesadilla right here. We got tacos. How are those tacos tasting, girl? Good. Wow. I'm gonna try this quesadilla. Let's see. I'm gonna see if it's smacking though. The best tacos are after the clip. Oh my god, it's so hot. Oh my god. It's okay. Burn that shit up. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, yeah, bomb. What's up, guys? So today is the next day. I didn't really vlog today because I was super hungover. Like. I just drank two for too many days straight and they, today was just enough for my body and I was just so hungover. Um, I just left my girl's house. I want to go visit her one last time and I came to get some pizza. You guys already know. I'm at my favorite pizza spot, me and Ed's. I always come to the one where I grew up at though. I grew up like on the north side so that is where um, I usually come and stuff. It's about 8.30, so I'm about to start driving to LA. So everyone wish me luck. I'll see you in about three and a half hours. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. I'm so happy. I'm so tired. It is about 12.30 at midnight. So I was really super hungover though because we went out yesterday and oh my god luckily you guys i thought we were just gonna go cruising last night and we ended up going to the club kind of sad though because apparently like after downtown they like everyone goes to blackstone to go cruising which is like another like kind of a main street in fresno so we didn't make it to that we, i didn't know we were gonna go out so we ended up going out um so luckily for me my friend lisa's pregnant so she drove me and her sister back in her car and then her man drove his own car. It's always nice to have like a pregnant person in the squad just because like you know like you like you'll have a DD because obviously they can't drink. So yeah she took us back to her house but oh my god you guys I was so hung over the next day but I'm surprised that I made it that long not being like so hung over because Usually my hangovers, like I can live when I'm really tired. Like that's like not a bad hangover for me. Like my bad hangovers are like me throwing up. So I didn't throw up from Friday night. I didn't throw up from Saturday night. But I woke up throwing up from Sunday night. That one, that hangover was kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. But it was nothing a little Alka-Seltzer didn't fix. If you guys are ever hungover, like... 
Alka-Seltzer tastes nasty, I'm not gonna lie. But if you're desperate because you're like so nauseous, it literally helps when you have like an upset stomach or you want to throw up. I literally had so much fun. I'm kind of sad because I didn't get to visit everyone I wanted to visit. And I didn't get to go all the spots that I wanted to go to. But I'm definitely gonna go again because I don't know. I just love showing you guys where I grew up. I feel like this time I didn't really get to show you guys so much. But the next time I go back, I'm just going to have like, I'm going to have more plans. That way I can show you guys where I grew up at. I always show you guys Sac, but I've never really showed you guys where I grew up. And I didn't even stop at my old apartment. I always like, I don't know, I always drive whenever I'm in town. I always drive by my old apartment and my sister's old house just because I don't know. Just seeing it, it just brings me like good memories. But yeah, guys, um, cruising was lit, definitely. I love that it's in downtown. We even went to like this little hole in the wall bar in downtown and it was pretty cool. It was like, it was like a little OG bar, but I like those bars because they play good music and everyone was just chill. Everyone was just minding their own business. Everyone was drinking. So that's my type of vibe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to anyone I met this weekend. I met so many dope people this weekend. Like, it was like, I always love meeting new people, guys. Like, me, like, if you guys ever see me out, like, don't be scared to say hi. Like, don't be scared to come take a shot with me. Like, I'm just, like, so chill. So I love that I got to meet a bunch of my supporters. But, yeah, guys, I partied so much this weekend. I'm staying my ass home this weekend. So the next vlog is going to be me and the kids. We're hanging out this weekend because I don't want to do anything crazy. So I'm going to just kick it with the kids. I want to do something, like, fun with them. So that's going to be the next vlog for you guys. So... You guys just wait on it. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, I'll make sure to put my friend Adriana's um, hair extension Instagram. So if you guys are in Northern Cali or if you're in Fresno and you want to hit her up about more information about the extensions, you guys could hit her up. I'm going to put it in the description box. Also, I'll put my girl Michi's Munchies in the description box. So you guys could check out her candy tables. They're so freaking dope. So yeah, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you guys know when I post. And thank you guys so much for watching Mo Money's channel.